Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Baron Channel. We are getting solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to use digital elevation model to generate contours, right? Good. And contours are imaginary lines or geometric lines that um, join points of equal elevations, right? Good. So they help you to have terrain information in terms of the configuration so that um, you can have um, an informed planning of how your terrain is right good so we we are trying to change the symbology from the grayscale to a different color ramp that can help us highlight on some high and some low points so we see that our range of values for the digital elevation model is from 174 to over 1200 right good so we want to now generate contours on this digital elevation model. So on the geoprocessing tool, let's um, search for contour, right? Now it creates a um, feature class of contours from a raster surface. And then the raster surface we rightly have here is our digital elevation model. So that will now be the input here. Then the output feature class it will be automatically generated and then we will leave it as default as it is. Now, another very important aspect is the contour interval. That is the interval between successive contour lines, right? But now, we can see that our range of elevations from maybe 170 to 1200, which is quite far apart. So if we use a smaller interval here, which is about maybe 10 or 20, we would have quite a number of um, contour lines which might um, affect the aesthetics of whatever we are doing so if we now use um, a range of maybe 50 to 70 down to 100 we'll have um, a good number of lines that will help us define the terrain configuration so we are assuming that our base contour is actually zero remember that at every point if you don't understand you can read the information that is around there so that um, it can give you a better description of whatever each of the parameters that um, we want to impute are right good so the z factor we are still leaving it as one and then for the contour type if we use a drop down we are going to see what different options let's use the default contour right good so the maximum vertices per feature if you read the information you'll see what it means so if we go or we stick with this um, default or maybe some of the default parameters and the much we have imputed, we can click on run. Good, our contour lines have been generated and even using or haven't used the 50 meter at the interval, we still have quite a good number of contour lines. If we try to put out the base map and then our digital elevation model, we are going to see quite um, a good number of contour lines. However, because of how much it is, I'll um, reduce the contour line by increasing the interval to 100, right? Good. So if I increase the interval to 100, then the contour lines will be reduced. And then let's also change the name from 11 to 12 so that um, we can have what a new name, right? Good, because it has already saved the first one as 11. And then we hit run. Good. So a new set of contour lines have been generated. And then if we want to compare them, we would see that, um, let's put this out. This is the new one. And then this is the old one. So you can see the older one, which is the SH11 has more contour lines than the new one which is what the sh 2 so this was dependent on what the contour interval that was actually determined and it was primarily dependent on what the range of the contour values that we have for our digital elevation model so before we wrap things up let's try to see if we can change what the the labels and all of that so let's use the second one which is a bit scanty not too scanty Good, so for the labeling, we can decide to either right click and then select labels, which will automatically 
label the contour lines with um, some values. However, for us to know those values, we can right click and then come up to the attribute table to see from the attribute table that we have some fields, the object ID, shape ID, the contour. Now, the contour here, yeah, this field contour represents what the the fields that contains or stores what the contour values, right? Good, so good. So we can decide to take this out. So having confirmed that um, from the attributes table, the, the field that contains the contour values are actually contour. So on clicking on labeling, you can decide to check the field there. The field being used to label our contour here is what ID. So you use this drop down to select contour, right? Good. So when you select contour, you are trying to now label your contour lines with what that um, with those values that are under the what the contour field, right? And then on the placement, still upon selecting what the the layer we are working on, we can decide to see how the placement can be basic line, European, and then if we still expand. And then we come down to the placement. We can see more options on how to what on how to place the contour values on the on the line, right? Good. So let's use this um on the line. Good. So since um we have used um, the contour field for the labeling, and then we have also used this um, European script placement label placement that means placing it on the line. We can decide to zoom in. To see perhaps due to the size of the text it is very small but when we zoom in to see we can see what the contour values on what on the line is right good and let's come to this other part that's a bit high we can see now that um, we have elevations of around what 800 right good compared to this other side that was 500 this side should be lower because this um, area was like um, good this is 400 so generally we have shown you how to get um, the contour lines from your raster so you can decide to change the color of this line perhaps by modifying the symbol right good so thanks for coming to class we have shown you how to select the field for the labeling down to understanding the contour intervals and then even up to what creating the contours from what your digital elevation model we are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.